Namaste yogis, welcome back. This is Andres Gaia Flow Yoga and today we are going to go through a mountain flow. That's uh, our workshop style practice. We do a nice flow, get you nice and warm, nice and sweaty. And then we'll play at the wall, we'll do some wall work to complete our practice and to work on some inversion poses. It'll be a lot of fun. As usual, I will give you plenty of options. You just take your practice to your own level. Whatever your intention is today, you do what you need to do. And you know the most important part of your practice, if you have been taking my classes for a while, you know that I always remind you of this. Keep smiling. Your practice needs to be joyful. So you know that you go too far if you cannot keep smiling on the pose. That's how you keep track of your, if you're doing yoga correctly or not. So meet me in a comfortable seated position first. Our spiritual sadhana this week, we are on Saucha, which is purity of intention. So I invite you to take advantage of this gift, especially now that you get to be home, that you get to connect with yourself, most of you. It's a good way to find a pure intention for your yoga practice. One of the beautiful things that I notice is that no matter what, our yogis, uh, me, you guys, we keep with our practice because we always have this pure intention to do it because it brings us joy, brings us benefit. And that's the intention you need to do. There's no second agenda, you're not expecting anything in return other than the great experience that is to take your yoga practice and to keep it consistent and to stay committed to your yoga practice on and off the mat. So let's practice Saucha today and there's your way, purity of intention. Meet me in Lotus, Hat Lotus, or you may see on the edge of the block like I'm doing. Open heart and straight spine. Close your eyes. Move inward. And listen to your Ujjayi breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Palms facing up. Inhale, gather up the energy, bring your arms up nice and slow, hands together at the top. Exhale through your nose, hands to the top of your head, symbolizing union with your spiritual truth. However that shows up for you today, between your eyes, your intuition, and your guiding force, and all the way down to your heart center, symbolic of your union with the universe and the planet. And from here, let's set up the vibrational tone of our mountain practice today by chanting Om three times. Inhale. Thank you. Namaste. Let's begin our practice by warming at the core. Lay down flat on your mat. And bring your heels close to your sit bones. We're going to start with our reverse crunches to wake up the core. Bring your block between your thighs all the way down and squeeze. Lower back stays flat like I said before. Interlace your fingers behind your neck and bring the elbows in and your shoulders on the floor. Inhale, lengthen your spine. 
Exhale, pull the lid in. Take the first crunch and hold it on the top. Keep squeezing your jaw, and let's say little pulses on every exhale. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, floating, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Change, do it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Continue alternating your legs off the floor, nine degree angle, catch behind your thighs, keep squeezing, keep pausing it, every move with intention, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, legs straight up, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Halfway there, reach for your toes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six here, reach between your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Last breath in reverse crunches. Tap the floor with your toes. And on the exhale, knees to your elbows or your armpits. Little lift. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one we hold, just pretend you're in crow pose, bring your knees under your armpits if you can, activate the toes and fingers, straight arms, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, release your block, bend the knees, drop your knees down towards the right, twist and release, look over to the opposite direction, just enjoy for five. Make sure that both of your shoulders are in touch with the earth. Last two. And one, come back to center. And on the exhale, drop your knees to the opposite side, spinal twist. Dristy gaze to the opposite direction. Stay here for five. Just breathe. Last two. And one. Come back to center. Prepare for your bicycle. Wake up our obliques. Bend the knees. Make sure that your knees are aligned with the hips. And activate the toes. Again, your lower back stays flat. Interlace the fingers behind your leg. Elbows in. Shoulders on the floor. Exhale, crunch to the right, elbow to knee and tap the opposite foot down. Exhale to the opposite knee. Exhale, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Continue tapping or extend the opposite leg out. Remember your intention, elbow to knee. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Straight legs if you choose to. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. You're welcome to interlace your fingers, reach to the outside of your leg. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Last time. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, listen, 3, 2, hold it here, little pulses, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, switch legs, 1, little pulses, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
One, two, three, four, five. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Blissful baby. Cut your feet from the inside. Keep your tailbone down on the mat. Roll over to one side. Let the knee touch the floor. To the opposite side. Straight legs. Don't be flexible enough. For five. Four. Three. Last two. And one. Bring your legs back together. Hands behind your knees. Exhale, roll all the way up into seated position. Now plant the hands flat on the mat. Now your hands have to be about mid thigh. Your hands are hard back here. It's going to be really hard. So you need to bring your hands right here. Now from here, you have options. You may just push and come back down. If this bars your ribs, you can always take it on your fist. Lean forward. Use the lower part of your core. Lift and back down. Let's take 10 on your face if you need to, or with your hands flat. Exhale one. Waking up your upper body. Two. Pull the lid. Three. Four. Five. Waking up your wrist as well. Six. Seven. Eight, two more like this, nine, and ten. Now we continue with the same movement, only we're going to alternate legs. On the lift, bring your right leg up. Next lift, bring the left leg up. Keep alternating. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. On the next step, we're going to do both legs. As always, you have options. Option number one on your fist. Press up, little hop, and then come back down. Option number two, flat on your hands, lift up, little hop. Or you can take it on your fist, both legs up, come back down, or you can take it on your hands. Both legs up and down. Let's take 10 when you're ready. Exhale one. Take your variation. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more. Ten, bring your knees in. Catch behind your knees, open heart and straight spine. Prepare for your Navasana, your boat pose. Right foot on the floor, then the left. Activate the toes, stay here. Next level, bring your legs up. If you're ready, big toes with your fist fingers. Straight legs if you can, pull belly in. Open your elbows to the outside. Stay here for 10 counts. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep your legs as high as you can. Toes pointing at you. Arms extended with the palms facing up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Cross legs. Plant the hands. Step back into your plank. If you need to, you can as well have your plank on your knees, press the hips forward, straight arms. Otherwise, come up behind your toes. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Side plank. Inhale, open to the left. If you need to bring your right knee down, otherwise, stay here. Bring the leg up. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, back to plank. Inhale to the opposite side. Same variation. Ten, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to plank for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down your knees. Inhale, press up. And yeah, so you get a nice release on your shoulders, move them around, backwards, forward, lubricate your joints, one arm at a time, last three, two, and one, maybe back in box, and yeah, so press up into downward facing dog, Adhukha Shwanasana, now from here, bend the elbows, and the inhale, press back up. Chest in. Bend the elbows. Inhale, press back up. You can continue with that movement. Next level. Bend the elbows. Inhale, press up. Bend the knees. Hands on your heart. And on the exhale, shift the weight forward. Little hop. Inhale, up. Exhale, maybe a little higher into frog. Upside down. Inhale. Maybe all the way up into frog. Hands them back to frog. And you come back down the same way. Let's say seven more. Add your own level. Mix it up if you need to. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one, if you have a handstand, hold it at the top. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Mindfully find your way back into your box and take hip circles. Move your hips around to one direction, to the other direction. Rotate your hands, fingers to the side. Back, keep moving in circles for five, four, three, and one. Back into your box. Inhale, lower your belly. Open up into cow pose. Exhale, pull your belly in and shift the weight forward. Let's do it again. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull the belly in. Shift the weight to the front. Straight arms. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, really pull your belly in. Shift the weight forward. Stay here with your cat. For three, two. Now from cat, curl up your toes. Exhale into downward facing dog. Shorten your step. Prepare for your yogi jumps. Come back high on your toes. Sit down on the heels. Meet me here. This is your starting point. Let's take basic technique. Hands are flat. Inhale, roll on your toes, shift away your hands, push. Exhale, come back down. Let's do that again. Inhale forward. Exhale down. One more. Inhale forward. Exhale down. Now you may continue working on basic technique. If you're ready for the next level, then use the same physics and let your feet float. Exhale down. Eventually, you're going to be able to float all the way up with your knees, step to your chest, looks like this. And if you can, bring your knees to your hands, come back down the same way, bring your knees in first, and then down with control. For some of you, pike it up into a handstand. What that means is to go into a handstand with straight legs, straight, up into a handstand. And then you come back down the same way. Straight legs. All the way down, you make pike. Tap the wrist. And back up. <laughs> your practice. Let's say eight more yogi jumps. Whatever your practice is, just warming up. Inhale forward. Seven more. Last six. Five, four, make the last three count, three, 
Two more. Last one. Exhale, find your box. Inhale, press up. And on the exhale, give your shoulders an iron again. Move your shoulders around. Take this opportunity to reconnect with your Uye breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Last three. Keep moving your shoulders around. Two. And one. Maybe back in box. And on the exhale, hip circles. Move your hips around. To one direction. To the opposite direction. Rotate your hands, fingers pointing to the side, to the back. Little stretch on the wrist, on both of them. Last three. Two. And one, maybe back in your box. Let's continue with our flow. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your right leg up. Hips are square to the earth. Feel the energy. Moving from the tip of your fingers all the way up to your yogi toes for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, bring your knee high and your tricep as high as you can for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward to the front of the mat. Stay high in your back toes, you're modifying the back knee. Arms to the side, inhale, cross and lunge, back bend at the top. Press the hips forward, reach for the back of the room. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, plant the hands in front of you, make a triangle. So if you need to send your front foot back, please do. And then from here, inhale, let your right leg go as high as you can, roll forward, shift away. Exhale, bend the bottom knee. Tap the back foot down. Let's do this again. Inhale, hands are flat. Stand and split. Exhale down. If you want to start flying with me, inhale with your back leg as high as you can first, then bend the bottom knee and then take a little hop to transfer the weight forward. Exhale down. Once you shift that weight, then you find hands at the top, then go back down the same way. If you want to work on holding your hands then, then the form is to keep your legs nice and straight, and then scissor, nice and straight, nice and slow, keep scissoring, find your variation. Remember your options. Keep working on this movement, keep working on this movement with a little hop, or find your hands at the top. And scissor the legs in and out. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now one foot at a time, with both feet at the same time. Bring them between your hands to the front of the mat. Shake it off. Let any tension go. For three. Two. And one inhale, hands your heart, bring it all the way up. Extended mountain, Tadasana. And the exhale, your arms nice and wide to your waist. Bring your right knee in. You may catch, stay here, or catch your big toe with your fist fingers and extend the leg out. Pour into the knee towards the knee or the shin. Four, five, four, three, two, and one inhale to the side. Knee can be bent, straight leg, your practice. Five, four, three, two, one, inhale, little tap. And on the exhale, bend the knee, float into warrior three. May keep your hands on your waist, hips are square, or open your wings, maybe extend it to the back of the room. For five, four, three, Two, now this end, let your hands find the earth and bring it to your crescent lunge. This time your left foot is in front. Inhale, back and at the top. For five, four, 
three, two, and one, exhale, plant the hands, step back into your plank for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now let's see how beautiful we can do chakaranga, no push up, shift the weight forward, the inhale, and the exhale, bend the elbows, at a 90 degree angle, body parallel to the floor, keep hovering, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, roll through, push the earth away, shoulders away from the ears, hold it here for five, four, three, two, and then the exhale, press back into your box, take hip circles, move your hips around, change directions, rotate your hands to get your wrist, and stretch, keep moving for three, two, and one, come back into your box, inhale, lower your belly, open up, cow pose, Exhale, pull your belly in, shift the way forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull the belly in, shift the way. One more time, inhale. Exhale, shift the weight, stay here. Cat for three, two, curl at your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, let leg up. Feel the energy, straight line of energy, moving through your entire body. Hips are square to the floor. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, knee high on your tricep, hold it as high as you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, knee to forehead, look forward, plant the left foot between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. A little deeper in your back bend. For five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, plant the hands. Remember, make a triangle. Hands are flat. Move your front foot as far back as you need to to get your triangle here. Inhale, back leg up. Roll your toes. Shift the weight. Exhale, bend and tap. Remember, you can always keep working on basic technique. This practice is open to everyone. You stay here with me. Forward and back. Now, next level. Up, take the, use your bottom knee to take a little hop. Exhale back. Once you find your handstand, keep your scissor legs, and then with control, come back down the same way. And if you choose to, hold your handstand, challenge your balance, and then we just alternate legs slowly. Let's take seven more. Whichever variation you choose to take. Six. Five. Saucha, purity of intention, so you should be able to smile no matter what. Last word. Three. Two. Now one foot at a time or both feet at the same time. Bring them between your hands. To the front of the mat, shake it off, let any tension go. For three, two, and one. Inhale, hands to your heart all the way up, extend the mountain. Exhale, open nice and wide, hands to your waist. Now, this time your left knee comes up. Remember, you can stay here with your knee bent, right here. Otherwise, catch your big toe with your peace fingers, extend the leg, and on the exhale, forehead towards the knee or the shin. For five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, open to the side. Uttita hasta para Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, little tap. And on the exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, warrior three. Remember, you may keep your hands at your waist. Open your wings. Keep them parallel to your body. For five, warrior three. Four, three, two, and one. Let your fingertips slightly hurt. Inhale into present lunge. Right foot is in front. 
Bahan ko na dito. For 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Exhale, plant the hand. Step back into plank. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, let's visit our chaturanga, inhale, shift the weight forward, exhale, bend the elbows, keep hovering, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, inhale, roll through, push the earth away, shoulders away from the ear, stay here, keep pushing the earth away, 5, 4, 3, now wait for me, look to the right, next stretch, look to the left, and the exhale, press back into your box and take your hip circles. Listen to your Ujjayi breath, re energize your body. Last three, two, and one. Now rotate your hands to the side, all the way to the back of your room if you're flexible enough. Shift the weight back and forth, side to side. Get a nice release on your wrists. Last three. Two. And one. Lean me back into your box. And then the exhale, downward facing dog. In the right leg up. You know the form already. Stay here. Lines of energy working. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, bring your knee high on your tricep. Now remember, you can always stay here. If you're working on your flying mat, then you can bend the elbow and extend the leg out. Now then from here, bring your head on the floor, back the calf, and then eventually you're going to be able to have your flying mat with your body parallel to the floor. On your variation for five counts. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, on the inhale, let your right leg guide you up into three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, press and lunge. You back at the top for five. A little deeper, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, bring your back leg as high as you can. Challenge your balance, touch the back of your body heel with one hand. Maybe both for five. Four, three, two, and one. Now on the exhale, cross the leg, the back leg behind you, tap the knee, top of the foot is flat. Inhale, kick to the side. Exhale, bend. Next level, inhale, kick to the side. With your bottom knee, bend and take a little hop. Exhale, down. And next level, inhale, far hydrant. Exhale, come back down the same way. If you can hold your balance in your fire hydrant, then you just switch side to side with me. Looks like this. Find the first one, then switch, switch, say five more. Keep moving at your own pace and find your own variation. Keep to the side, little hop or full expression, fire hydrant, your practice. Three more. Last two. Take the last one. And everyone, meet me back here in your starting pose. Hands on your heart. Slow your breath down. Inhale. Exhale through your nose. Plant the hands. Inhale into plank. Hold for 10. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, open. Side plank to the left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, back plank. Side plank to the opposite side. Take the same variation. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, open. Side plank to the left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, open. Side plank to the opposite side. Take the same variation. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
three, two, one, back to plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga right for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, roll through. Shoulders away from the ears, five. Look to the right, to the left. Let's stay with your arm, we're bringing them up four, three, two, exhale, hip circles. We're gonna do our left side and then we take this to the wall. We're gonna have some fun at the wall. Just keep moving in circles, rotate your hands. Anything you need to do for three, two, and one. Knee the back in box. Exhale into downward facing dog. This time on the inhale, left leg up. Three legged dog for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, knee high in your tricep. Remember, you can always stay here. If you're working on flying man, bend the elbow and set a leg. And then bring your head down so you can bring your back foot on the floor. And eventually, you're going to be able to hold this with the body parallel to the floor. Just like this. Hold for five counts. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, left leg as you up. Exhale, knee to forehead. Look forward. Plant the left foot between your hands. Inhale, find your crescent lunge. For five, four, three, two, and one exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, back leg up, stand the split. Catch the back of your bottom heel with one hand, maybe both. For five, four, three, two, and one. On the exhale, cross the back leg, knee to the floor, top of the foot is flat, hands on your heart. Remember your options, plant the hands. Inhale, kick to the side. Exhale, bend and tuck. Next level. Inhale, kick to the side. Bend the bottom knee. Take a little hop. Exhale, down. And when you're ready, inhale all the way up to your heart hand. And down. Some of you, stay with me. Find your balance at the top. And then mindfully switch sides. Then the other side. Let's take five. If you lose your balance, go back to the starting pose and then with technique, with intention. Four more. Last three. Two more times. Take the last one. And on the exhale, leave it here. Hands on your heart. You guys ready for some wall work? Yes. <laughs> Plant the hands first. Step back into your plank. Pull belly in. Modify your knees if you need to. You know that that's always an option. Breathe. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, side plank. Stay here, here. Maybe you catch your big toe with your big fingers. Stay in your mind. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to plank. Inhale, side plank on the opposite side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, bend the knee. Elbows. Five. Keep hovering. Four. Three, two, one, inhale, roll through, open up. Look to the right, look to the left, they're going to automatic. Last three, two, and one, exhale, press back into downward facing dog, and bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, walk, float, or handstand all the way to the front of your mat. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up into the dasana. And the exhale, open wide, hands for your heart center. Anjali Mudra. All right, let's take this to the wall. 
If you need to, wipe your sweat. Take a quick drink of water, not too much, just a little sip. And then make sure that the edge of your yoga mat is touching the bottom of the wall. All right. I know a lot of you are practicing on your yogi jam, so the wall is perfect to get the fear factor away. So the first thing that you need to do is measure the distance. Make sure that your the distance between the tip of your fingers is about one foot from the wall. There you go. And then from here, same form, bring it up into downward facing dog. Walk forward. This is your starting point. Now here's a good thing about the wall. If you keep your knees bent and just let yourself go, then this is what's gonna happen. There's a wall to stop you. And then you come back down. Keep the knees bent, let yourself go all the way over, come back down. Next level, you use the wall. Once you find your balance, bring it up. And then bend the knees, come back down. Start seeing if you can hold your balance without the wall. Inhale, let the wall stop you, bring it up. Now the way down, knees bent. And down, and obviously those of you who don't need the wall, you just take your yogi jams. And here's a challenge, do not touch the wall. Exhale down. Inhale forward, do not touch the wall. For those of you practicing without the wall. But if you lose your balance, there is a wall to stop you. Exhale down. Let's say five more like this, with or without the wall. Inhale forward. Exhale down. Four more. Inhale forward. Exhale down. Last three. Inhale forward. Exhale down. Two more like this. Inhale forward. Exhale down. Last one. Everyone, find your handstand with or without the wall for 10 counts. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and the exhale, meet me in box. And push the wall away, drop the chest down. Get a nice shoulder release here. Ten, five, four, three, two, and one, maybe back in box, and turn around. Now this time your toes are going to be touching the bottom of the wall. On the exhale, bring it into downward facing dog. Back your heels are touching the bottom of the wall. And then from here, let your right leg slide all the way up to your left. Walk your hands in, bring the chest in, and some of you might be able to keep the bottom foot floating one or two inches. This is your split combined with a handstand. Hold it here for 10 counts. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. Two, now this time, exhale your top leg guide you all the way to the front of the mat. Back foot flat in a 60 degree angle, arm suicide. Inhale into where one. Now check out your form first, make sure that you keep shifting the weight to your back leg. Square the hips and then sink down as low as you can. Make sure your front knee is aligned with the heel. Now from here, without moving your legs, and without contracting your lower back, elongate your spine and see if you can touch the wall with your fingertips. If you can't, it's okay. That's why we keep showing up on our mat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, bring it up. And on the exhale, warrior two, check out your form. Push the wall away. Bend the knee, heels in the same line. Open your thighs to the opposite directions and sink down as low as you can. Beat up a dress and up to warrior two. Stay here for five. 
four, three, two, and one. Inhale, bring your front leg nice and straight, and then with the exhale, rotate. So I want you to stay close to the wall. We're gonna be working on our handstand with a wide split, but you have the wall to support your balance. I'll show you how. So you're here. Make sure that this foot is closer to the wall. Come up higher your toes. Bend the knees. Now the inhale up, use the wall, exhale down. So I have to go a little further. So when you get your little hop up, then reach for the wall, find your balance. And then come back down. Let's try it again. Inhale, reach for the wall. Now you don't have to worry about balance. Exhale down. Three more and then you get to hold the last one. Inhale, find the wall, find your balance. Exhale down. Last two, inhale, white split, use the wall for balance. Exhale down, last one you get to hold. If you don't need a wall, then do it without touching the wall, toes pointing down. Otherwise, place your foot on the wall so you can hold your balance like this. Otherwise, off the wall. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, nice and slow. Everyone find your sumo konasana, your white split. Heel toe as wide as you can. Keep supporting the weight with your upper body, like here. Next level, bring it down on your forearms. Keep supporting the weight with your upper body so it's not on your ankles or your knee. And then if you're flexible enough, bring it all the way down to the earth. Stay here, slow your breath down. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And one, inhale, press up. Heel to your feet a little closer. Hands to your waist. Double time slow, inhale. Last thing to come up is your head. Bring it all the way up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, spiral down. Step back into your plank. Now you can stay here. If you want to challenge yourself, you can take plank using the wall. Walk your feet up the wall. And then body parallel to the floor. Hold it here, it's a lot of fun. 10. This is optional. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 in the box. Tap the feet against the floor, let the hand should go. Pull yourself up, get a nice release on your shoulders. We have one more side, and then we're going to take all these things that we've been working on to use it into a final pose. We're almost at the top of the mountain, and the view is beautiful. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful day, by the way. It's nice and sunny. All right, let's do it. Meet me in box. Toes touching the bottom of the wall. Exhale, downward facing dog. Back your heels touching the bottom of the wall. Then from here, left knee up. Top of the foot is flat, slide it all the way up as far as your flexibility allows you to. Walk your hands in, push the earth away. Work on your hand side and your front split at the same time. Stay here. 10, 9, 8. Every single muscle in your body is helping. 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, exhale in your top leg, guide you all the way forward to the front of the mat. Back to flat, 60 degree angle. Outside of your foot is pressing against the wall. Inhale, warrior one, remember your technique. Shift the weight to the straight leg, square the hips. Then sink down as low as you can and without moving your warrior legs, without contracting your lower back. Actually, it's the opposite. You elongate and you go up and back. Back down at the top and see if you can touch the wall. Make that your intention. Five, four, three, 
two, and one inhale, reach, exhale, over two, push the side all the way, find your Vida Matarasana two, your warrior two, you know the form already. Stay here, just use the wall for technique, for a good form. Five, four, three, two, and one, inhale, front leg nice and straight, rotate to the side, hands to your waist, inhale, let your head drop, open the back of your throat, and the exhale, fold. Now these are going to do the same movement, but on our forearms, so you still use the side wall for balance, I'm going to show you how, make sure that you measure the distance first, and then remember, you can take a little hop, hands separated and flat. Little hop, find the side wall. So I might be too close, just come back down and adjust. Right about here. Now bring it down on your forearms. Take a little hop, reach for the wall. There you go, find your balance. And then come back down the same way. Little hop, reach for the side wall, find your balance. Push up your shoulders, and so down. Let's say three, and then the last one we get to hold. Inhale forward, find the side wall. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale forward. Side wall. Exhale down. And last one you get to hold. Remember, those of you who don't need the wall, then your challenge is to do it without touching the wall, with your toes pointing down to the floor. When you're ready, you're going to hold for 10 counts. Inhale with or without the wall. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And exhale, bring it all the way down. Find your sumo panasa, your wide split, to your level of flexibility. Notice how much open you are the second time around. Wide split, sumo panasana. Stay here. Just melt into this pose. Let gravity do all the work for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice and slow, press back up. Heel toe your feet all the way together. Hands to your waist. Double time slow. Inhale, last in to come up into your head. All the way up. Exhale, rotate, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, and on the exhale, spiral down. Step back into your plank and bring it down your knees, on your knees. Tap the feet against the floor. For three, two, and one. Inhale, press up. And on the exhale, get a nice release on your shoulders. We have one more pose. It's a one-hand handstand. So all these things that we've been working on are going to help us get into this pose. It's a one-hand handstand using the wall, so don't worry, there's going to be a lot of options for you. All right. Turn around. Now this one, you're going to take your yogi jump like you did it. So you start here. Take your yogi jump and find your handstand using the wall. Now once you're here, get as close as possible. And then open, so I'm have to move because this is on my way. So I'm gonna move right in the middle. Find your hands on. Get really close to the wall, wide split, toes pointing down. And then from here, shift your way to one side, hand off the wall, maybe one arm. Then shift the way to the other side, one hand off the floor. So I have this window on my way. <laughs> A little more challenging, but basically you just open into a wide split, toes pointing down, shift the hips to one side, and start slowly. Bring one hand off the floor slowly. If you are still nice and balanced, then you can bring it all the way up and then come back down. Same way. So just play with this for about 10 counts, and then we're going home. I'm gonna find a different wall here, or maybe move so I can show you. Yeah, there you go, kind of. So I have a bad wall here. <laughs> but hopefully you have a full wall where you can practice this. 
Let's do it for five more counts. Five more counts. Wide split, one hand, then the other one. Maybe hold one hand up for five counts, then the other hand up for another five counts. Your practice. You made it to the top of the mountain. This is the top of your mountain practice. At your own pace, with control. Mean it out in your box. Let's get a nice shoulder stretch. Push the wall. We did this at the beginning. Drop the chest down. Completely relax into this. Let your shoulders get a nice stretch for three, two, and one. Come back into your box. Turn around. Find your block. Let's see how far we have run today. Send the legs out to the side, to the front. Inhale, lower. And the exhale, fold, deep seated forward fold. Elongate your spine, open up your heart. Chest and thighs stay connected. Even if your knees are bent, slightly bent. And then melt into this pose. Purity of intention, the practice of self check. You made it through your mountain journey. So here for three more times. And nice and slow. The inhale, press all the way back up. Before you go into Shavasana, the most important part of your yoga practice, your final meditation, I just want to thank you again for joining me, for taking this mountain flow at home. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you're having fun. Remember that you can do this mountain flow as many times as you want. It's going to be uploaded on our library. So you can always go back to and do it again. Again, it's always good to be here. Getting you, I'm nice and sweaty, so I'm hoping you sweat as much as I did. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Thank you again. I'll see you next time. Namaste. Bring it to your Shavasana. If there's any other pose you need to take to complete your practice, please do. If you have something to cover your face with, then before you go into your Shavasana, grab it. And then cover your face and completely enjoy your final meditation, your Shavasana. Allow your body to completely relax from head to toes. Allow your body to assimilate all these new openings new transformations, positive changes. Just let the magic happen. All you have to do here is breathe, rest, and enjoy. Stay in your Shavasana for as long as you need to. Namaste.